buried for eons, its submarine story begins to emerge. They've discovered an ocean consisting solely of predators and a huge hole in the food chain. Unlike other Jurassic sites, this place has few signs of the meals these monsters ate. There must have been fish here. Of course, it's an ocean, but we have not found them yet. So we're really worried about that. As the pile of predators grows, so do the questions. Jörn hopes for a discovery that will yield the answers. We're always looking for intact specimens because they tell a lot more than single bones. One complete skeleton might help make sense of this eerie sight. But they've never found an entire beast. After half a decade of digging, they finally get a break. You're not going to believe this! The team strikes Jurassic pay dirt. We have never seen anything like this. This is really, really the big find. We have a complete ichthyosaur. For the first time in the Arctic, we have a head, we have a full body, we have the flippers, we have everything. This is the region with all the ribs. You can see the ribs going here. Sweet. Jörn hopes the skeleton will expose how the creature lived and perhaps how it died. There's a good vertebra under here. The stomach of this rare ichthyosaur could reveal if things suddenly went wrong in the Jurassic Arctic, or the reason this sea, apparently, had no fish. Maybe there's something going on here that we don't understand fully yet. Their investigation moves to the catacombs. Thousands of fossils wait forever here. There isn't enough room to display every treasure. A shark. Yeah. Yes. Just look at the teeth. In the Upper Jurassic, throughout the Upper Jurassic, sharks were pretty common. They were pretty common, and um, you have a big diversity of them. Those are really something. Yeah. Jorn wonders if the chemistry of Svalbard's mud somehow prevented the preservation of delicate teeth and bones. Preservation bias, I don't think so, because fish teeth, fish scales are so robust. You should find more of them if they have been around. Jörn Hurum and his team will try to determine the creature's last meal. For the first time, a complete Jurassic Arctic beast will be scanned in 3D. The laser scans all of the bones without actually touching their priceless skeleton. Jörn and Espen will see detailed models of each part of the beast. The ichthyosaur's enormous eye catches the scientists' attention first. The scientists believe their reptile could have searched for prey in the deepest abyss. Oh, it's a beautiful specimen. It's just beautiful. Unfortunately, the powerful laser is limited to the surface of the skeleton. To get inside the beast, they need a different approach. Michael Meisch is astonished. Ammonites were not on their menu. If the Svalbard ichthyosaurs were eating ammonites, that is something that is completely unusual for me as a German paleontologist, because we have never found any ammonite in a stomach content here in a Jurassic ichthyosaur. Never, ever. Being privy to intimate details about an individual's death is unusual, especially when the fatality occurred 147 million years ago. Jörn Hurum pictures the last moments of the ancient creature he resurrected from its grave. <laughs> 